go home and fuck the prom queen. That's right, everyone. This is Tim of the Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. Oh, I think it's going to be a two for two Thursday. We have the joint practice with the Jets. Want to talk about the injuries. Want to talk about next man up. Want to just talk about the, the state of the Giants roster in general. Um, when I was at the game Sunday, talked to some people, you know, it's, and it's always fun. And I got a call um, from a company that like promotes podcasts and um, uh, YouTube channels and stuff. And, you know, like like some of the people on Sunday, you're like, well, your channel's a niche channel. You know, you, you, you're you not this rah, rah, everything's wonderful. And, you know, you tell the truth. You're honest. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Some people don't understand it because truth is not high on some people's priority list. Thank you, Julius Campbell. Um, but you know what? I'm always going to give you the honesty. I'm, I'm always going to come out and I'm always going to come out swinging and tell you the truth. Give you the real opinion. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And if I'm a niche channel and the 12,000 plus that I have that subscribe to it are probably extremely intelligent giant fans because they understand that injuries are a part of the game. Injuries happen. Go ask Dick Vermeil when Trent Green went down in preseason and he had to start an unknown Kurt Warner. Did they run and hide? Did they just say, oh, this season's over? Did they just throw their hands up in the air? No, he said, we are going to rally behind Kurt Warner. And I think they won, it, won the Super Bowl. Huh, shocking. Talent rises to the top. Organizations that have Good talent, good depth, good coaching. Understand that injuries happen. If you go back and look at the Players Association's website, because they have all these statistics, if you go look, if you go just research some of these statistics, over the last 10 years, the Giants' injuries have not been well above average between uh, from the rest of the league. People complain about the turf. Well, evidently, people forgot about when the Giants played in the Meadowlands and they played on concrete. People forget about back in the old soldier field days. I remember when Wendell Davis, the wide receiver, just was just basically standing on the turf and tore his knees out. The synthetic turf is not the issue for the Giants. And I've said this a million times. Colin Johnson tearing an Achilles has nothing to do with the turf because it actually didn't even happen in MetLife. And an Achilles tear is not an injury which occurs because of the turf. It's a repetitive stress injury on the tendon from using the tendon extensively for an explosive movement. That's what it is. It's not that. But winning teams don't make excuses. Winning teams have next man up. Was it Tyron Smith of the Dallas Cowboys just went out today? It's going to be out till December. Did the Giants turf cause that injury? No. Injuries happen in the NFL. And teams that have lost for an extended period of time and a fan base that has lost for an extended period of time, their first thing they want to automatically blame is everything else. It's the injuries. It's the, it's the turf. Go back and look. You can find these statistics on the Players Association website. They're not the best, but you can do some research and you can find them even more. Injuries occur in the NFL. You go back a couple years ago during COVID when the 49ers had all the injuries. We've talked about this. They, they blame the Giants' turf. NFL had an independent person come out and check turf, said turf was fine. Golden Tate comes out and says, you know what? It's not the turf. It's the fact that we had limited practices, no contact, and no preseason. People like to point to Blake Martinez's injury. Blake Martinez doesn't even blame the turf. Blake Martinez blames himself for using worn-out cleats. We got to stop with the excuses. We got to stop with the injury excuses. It's next man up. And I know a lot of people that listen to this channel hate that phrase because I use it all the time because I played the game and I understand you don't make excuses. You move on from when something happens and the next man in line needs to step up. That's why you need depth in the NFL. That's why players like Darius Slayton now are more important to this team a few days ago. Everyone was saying Darius Slayton was getting cut. I'm telling you right now, even without these injuries, Darius, Darius Slayton was not getting cut. He was still listed as number two on the depth chart behind Kenny G. Why? Because he is a true professional outside starting wide receiver. He can play on the edge. He can play on the sidelines. You're not going to sit there and rely on Alex Bachman. You're not going to sit there and rely on CJ Board. You're not going to sit there and rely on David Sills. Because when you got these guys going up against the Home Depoters, yeah, they look good. You put them in a game against real NFL players, they don't look so hot. 
the franchise itself needs to build depth, needs to build a talent pool, needs to have players behind the starters that have the ability to walk in and start. That's what a good organization does. A organization that's been bad or a fan base. And I'm not, you know what? I, I give the Giants all the credit in the world because of the fact they're not complaining. It's the fan base I see on Twitter complaining. Injury, it's football. Injuries happen. Plain and simple. Plain as the nose on your face. Injuries happen. You're never going to go through a 17 game season now and not have injuries. Next man up, you have to step up. You have to move, get that next guy in there, and you bring them to the forefront. And you you are an NFL player for a reason. You are always one injury away from being a starter. You're a Wally Pip moment away from being Lou Gehrig. But if you sit there and continuously blame everything else, for the fault of your organization, such as injuries, you're doing a disservice to your own organization and you're doing a disservice to yourself as a fan because it's not these problems. It, injuries are not injuries are not just the issues of the Giants. They're the issues of every single team in this league. It is nothing that is a stark difference between us and the Bengals. It is nothing between difference between us and the Cowboys. There have been plenty of teams that have been ravaged by injuries, but then who turned around and went on to win Super Bowls? You need to get hot at the right time. You need to get healthy at the right time, but you need to have the right players on the roster. I'm tired of it. And I'm not blaming, you know, and I, and, and I love it because I, I got I got people in the comments and, and I always love the comments. I really do. I go I go through I go. I think we're a small enough channel that I can go through the comments and the majority of the time I can answer all the comments. It's getting a little tougher because we're getting more and more, but I, I'm going to continue to try to do it. But I love the comments because I love when people disagree with me. They always start off by uh, saying how much I love the channel and apologizing for disagreeing. But don't apologize. Don't apologize for disagreeing with me. I want you to disagree with me. But I want you also to back it up factually because I had people in the comments that were spewing some some venom and I, I just wrote back, hey, listen, could you back this up statistically for me? Could you give me some examples? And they never respond. Now, the intelligent fans that watch this channel or listen to this channel, I ask that same question. They know they're not offending me. But they give data, they give information, they give real-time analysis. They just don't make up crazy statements. At the end of the day, the Giants are going to be what they are. A five to six win team. And that's what they were going to be before these rash of injuries have come and, and claimed everyone in the Giants. I've said it a million times. Time to nut up or shut up. That's all it is. It's time to nut up or shut up. You are an NFL franchise. We are a bad NFL franchise and have been for years. We have an organization that has been put in place that we hope can turn this talent pool around. If you look at this roster and you look at it objectively, with or without the injuries, out of 32 teams, maybe this roster ranks 27. Maybe. There is some talent sprinkled in, but there is also a lot of wannabes. There's also a lot of maybes, and there are also a lot of rookies. And that's what we need to look at. We, and I've said this before. I went and got my season tickets back. I, and I canceled them because of all the issues of the Giants. But I went and got them back this year. Do I think the Giants are going to be good this year? Hell no. But I think this is a learning progress from Brian Dable and the entire organization and Joe Shane. And, you, and I see this hopefully heading the right direction, moving forward in the right direction. Not sitting there and going, you know what? We're going to lose because we got injuries. You're talking about Colin. I'm not going to, I'm not bashing Colin Johnson. I don't want anyone to think I'm bashing about Colin Johnson. But people are complaining that the season is lost because we lost Colin Johnson. That's what people are complaining about. Colin Johnson career stats, 29 receptions, 377 yards, two touchdowns. He had 11 receptions for 105 yards last year. He's 24 years old. 
I'm sorry. Colin Johnson is not Colin Johnson. I don't think he's an, I don't think he's a Travis Rudolph, but I also think he's a fifth round pick out of Jacksonville who couldn't have, who got waived by the Jaguars after getting hurt. He's not a guy that would, he was a guy that maybe is a sixth or seventh wide receiver on a good team. You are relying him to be potentially a three or four on this team. That should tell you what our roster looks like. People want to point out Richie James. Well, Richie James looks great. Richie James is not, is not a player that has not been in the NFL for an extended period of time. Richie James is 26 years old. Okay. He is 26 years old. He's got 38 receptions for 680, oh, excuse me, 680 yards. Most of his, most of his statistics are return yardage. He had a big season. And then he was placed on the, he had a good season in 2020, but then he was placed on the injured reserve for all of 2021. He's four years into the league. Again, he is a five or a six on a good team. But let's be honest about it. He's 5'9, 185 pounds. We have a lot. We have David Sills, but on the but often on the practice squad for what, going on three years now. We got Alex Bachman. These are all guys that may have been five or six on a regular team, on a good team, but on the Giants, they have to step up into the white, step up into the starting lineup, and that's what I'm saying. It's next man up. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Oh, that's right, Ron. That got out of hand fast. It was a, it turned into a little bit of a rant. Didn't want it to be a rant. We'll probably do a video later today because we got the joint practice uh, today with the Jets. Uh, got a lot of fun stuff coming up. We are going to be the game on August 16th for the home opener. I'm probably going to give a ticket away from that as well. And again, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, if you could ring that button, it means that'd be awesome.